and nice it makes me it just spice the marriage it makes the marriage look <laughs> nice sexy i'll use the word or romantic so just be there just because to what i know when it comes to sacrifices someone once said that it takes sacrifices integrity and knowledge in marriage and this is very true you gotta have all these three things yeah these three keys you need to have it okay someone is crying you need to have it yeah so you need to discuss about your job careers when i say job careers when you come to let me use myself as an example because i always tend to use myself to i mean make examples so it's much it's more easier for you to understand what i mean so when i t when uh, what i mean by job careers maybe your husband could be a pilot and you would be uh a nurse and you don't get to see each other all the time because if he's a pilot he's flying all the time so when you see you see him in a month let's say it depends sometimes it's just three times in a, in a month or something or even two i don't know it depends on where your your husband is flying to or on the other hand if your wife is also a doctor and maybe you or your husband is a doctor and maybe you are just uh let's say a customer service agent and you don't see each other all the time you need to discuss is it okay for the other amore don't cry is it okay for the other or is not okay for the other you need to talk about it and the next step is sex and intimacy sex is very important it is very important you talk about it because some men or some women want it every day yes if we have 30 days in a month, they want it every single day. So 30 days, imagine. So you need to discuss about it. If it's okay for the, your partner or it's not okay for your partner. If it's not okay, then you know what to, how to go about it. If it's okay to, then enjoy. <laughs> you also have to talk about your sex positions. It's not everyone who would want it the way you, the woman, you want it. So you need to discuss that about that with your partner. If it's okay with it or not. And also when having sex when you get into the stage or i'm talking about those who are married or if you are entering into marriage one thing you would like to consider is to communicate during sex yes communication is key if you do not communicate how would your partner know that this is how you want it or you want it in a certain way or if he hits this part this is i mean that's where you want it you need to discuss please let me use a disclaimer if you are not 18 don't watch this video <laughs> yes yeah, don't watch it too ah <laughs> don't watch this video i've issued a disclaimer i don't want youtube to come for me or anyone to come for me please let me use a disclaimer if you are not 18 do you not watch this video yes it's not for you mm-hmm mm-hmm <laughs> yes so you need to discuss it's very important also you need to also talk about your interest and the excitement of it all it's very important in sex yes don't be deceived some of our some of you your mothers will not tell you about sex because they you know in the african you know culture i mean talking about i don't know whether they are shy or what i mean i'm talking about our moms whether they are shy or what some of them they won't tell you what's in it so read books that's why i say read books get educated get well informed yes before you get to it and trust me if you go into if you go to counseling not everyone will tell you about sex some of them though i mean pinpoint it and tell you and even share their experiences with you we when we, before we got married we had i mean um one of our elders who you know went all out he and his wife they sat us down they talk about they spoke about everything that went on how they met from when they got married i mean uh being broke like everything they spoke to us about I, I mean they spoke to us about it and you will not get this everywhere some of us our parents will tell us others too your parents won't tell us. so be well informed read books and don't be i mean get well informed before you get into it so 
you won't be that person who will be like on your marriage on your wedding day i mean the wedding night you won't be like oh god we thank you for bringing us together for helping us and making this whole location of the wedding everything went on successful thank you god for bringing us together tonight but god what should we do how should we you know make love to each other should we open our legs or should we close it should we go up or should we go down should we go sideways or how should we do it do you not go and ask god sorry to say the stupid question <laughs> this is not a prayer <laughs> it is common sense <laughs> you need to be well informed before you go there yeah don't go and pray about this on that wedding night that's not the time to you know say all this prayer please get to work i mean love yourself i mean naturally it will come uh -huh. so you don't need to go and pray about it and ask god <laughs> This is so funny, yeah. And also, uh, I think one thing that I'll touch, I'll touch on is a family relation. When I say that, what I mean by that is you need to get to know your families, both families. So the man needs to know your family very well, how they are, who they are. And also the man also has to know your family as well, you know, so they don't get any surprises and please do not entertain your parents don't entertain your in-laws i am saying this because you don't want to get to that point and ask your husband why are you entertaining your parents here yeah, you do not want to get to that point so discuss about it yeah it's very important you need to know about both parents i mean both families you need to get to do them yes it's very important and please don't entertain them the marriage is for you and your husband alone it's not for a third party so whilst you are you know distancing yourself from friends because it's not every friend that you want to take them along or be with them as friends while you're married do the same thing with your families as well especially your parents if it's siblings i don't even really care about siblings because siblings don't worry that much but the parents yes your husband's parents yes your your wife's parents is very necessary you need to discuss about that let them stay in their homes and you stay in yours mm -hmm. if you're living far away oh thank god rest because they'll come they just once in a in a year Maybe probably for Christmas or Easter. But if you live close, oh sister, you need to set boundaries. Let them know their limits. <laughs> yes. Both families, I mean including your parents as well. Let them know their limits. Do not entertain them. And also, I'm saying this to not only to you, my sisters, but also to the men as well. Please present your wife or your wife to be. To your parents in a good way or good manner when i say that is because when you get married what some men tend to do is like they will picture you in a certain bad and describe you in a certain way be even though he loves you he will present you in a certain way so when their parents see you they see you like mm, this woman she's something mm, or she doesn't respect or she she doesn't like this or i mean they'll have second thoughts of you please 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 do present your man very well to your parents and also the man do present your 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 partner your wife or your wife to be or your girlfriend or whatever way you call it to your parents very well not in a very bad manner it's very important also you need to keep your issues to yourself don't involve any third person. Listen, as I said before, the marriage, it takes just you two. Just the two of you. Hmm. Because if you invite a third person, bear in mind, when you are going to bed, it's just two of you. It's not that it's not that third person. That person wouldn't be there to sleep in between of you both. It's the two of you, the Holy Spirit and God. So if you have anyone to complain to, 
who is the best person to complain to? Thank is God. <laughs> yes, pray about it. Forgive easily. And uh, I know it's quite difficult when it comes to our aspects. But hey, I've worked on that. Yeah. Forgiving easily. Yeah, sometimes some people, someone can hurt you so much that you're like, ah, should I forgive this person or I, should, I shouldn't? Yeah. Sometimes you don't need to, um, don't even think about it. Just to be at peace to what I know and the lessons I've learned, just to be at peace with yourself. Forgive easily. Mm-hmm. Yes, it hurts, but someone will choke you, will hurt you deep, 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 deep down in your heart. You feel like killing the person. You feel like just saying your mind. We, we that we are straightforward people. You know, we say things, bang, 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 and off we go. And most people will not like us because they, they see us as we probably we talk too much or we say things just the way, the way they are. But please run away from people who don't talk oh, because they are the worst people they are those people are the snake and the grass people you need to be careful about those people or if you are one please change <laughs> yes 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 you need to change learn to say the stp that's how i've named it learn to say stp sorry thank you and please it doesn't cost you a thing to say these things. These three words. These three no words. It's not three words as in the three words. So sorry, thank you, and please. Let it be easy on your lips. Yes. Let it be easy. Mm-hmm. Do this not just in your marriage or not in, when you are courting, but in your relationship, even with your friends and with anyone. Yeah, you need to all there. Sorry, thank you, and please. Learn to say it. It's very important. Mm-hmm. And also, when your children grow up to, you know, uh, see you, the father and the mother, they'll learn to say it as well. It'll be easy for them. It wouldn't be difficult for them to say it. Yes. Sorry, thank you. Also, be of best friends. Yes. Discuss about your besties. If your husband has a bestie, if you you have a bestie, discuss about it. If you are both okay, because some people might, because some people will not be okay with it. Some will be okay, so you need to discuss about it. Yes, it's very important. Mhm. Mhm. Also, you need to discuss, especially if one of you is trying to you know gift something out when i say gifts i mean in terms of money or it could be anything just let the other know that this is what you you are going to do don't yes i know that most of them would come unexpected like you are just going out and you see this person who is in need and you're like no let me just give this person money just to, to help the person but when you do that when you get home explain it say it don't wait until the lady or the woman goes and finds out and later on asks you that's right that's one thing i hate tell me about it don't wait for someone else to come and tell me and then i'll be surprised let's say for instance uh you give someone a gift at church and i don't know about it when you came to you didn't tell me and then all of a sudden the person calls me oh my god hello mrs sisbe Oh, hello, Akule Babs. Oh, today your husband did very well. And in my head, I'm like, oh, really? Oh, what happened? What did he do? Hmm. He gave me a thousand pounds. And then to my surprise, I'm like, it's not that I'm surprised he did the good deed, but I'm surprised about the amount because he didn't even discuss it. Let's say at that moment, you guys are even going through some financial problem. And he took that thousand pounds and he gave it out. you will be like, mm, oh, for me at that spot, I will not act funny. I'll just say, oh, okay, yeah, you know, what can we do? <laughs> oh, yes, I hope, I mean, it helps you do whatever you want to do with it. But immediately, like, he comes back. <laughs> That's where you tackle it. That's about it. <laughs> And it's not going to some it will tend to just easy discussion some too it wouldn't be easy <laughs> yeah so it's very important let the other know you know that that's what you're doing or that's what you did 
so we won't bring any conflict to any fight also discuss about how you make your marriage better yes as i said it takes two it doesn't take one yeah it takes two to make it work mm -hmm. so be there for each other no matter what if you know some one one of you will get the other so angry you can't kill the person just let it go you know sometimes they are annoying yes ah hey talk about it it's very important too especially some men in, or some women they are so shy that when you uh, fart in front of them they are like why did you do that hmm. Hmm, hmm. hey to us it's not a problem listen it's i mean marriage should be like this why should it be a problem it should be an argument if it's what taguzo oh please in this world who doesn't do it huh so if this is the problem then that means if a baby or your baby even um pulls on your hands are you going to cut your hands off you won't cut it so why should it be a problem master keep on the time <laughs> yes keep doing it and have fun <laughs> Yes, keep doing it. Ah, and also my final words: Do not get into marriage based on your feelings and emotions. If that's your aim, then please stop right there. Marriage is not for you. Go back. <laughs> yes, don't get married based on your emotions or your feelings. Yes, if not, do not enter into marriage because you will regret it. And you don't want to regret something that you've just entered. So please, please consider this before we enter into marriage. And my final words, just love each other. Love each other anytime, any day. Anytime, any day. Yes, no stop. The agape love, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, keep it going. Keep it going yes there is more and more and more and more and more to talk about marriage but these are just few things that i wanted to share with my sisters yes and if you're a man or all and you've learned from this video as well oh thank god so you can teach your wife to be or your partner <laughs> about what i've just you know discussed or shared with you in this video so if you've watched the video to this far, i know this video is going to be long or if it's long for you, or if you've watched this video this far, thank you so, so, so much for, you know, watching this video to this far. If you want to, you know, stick to the things that I've listed in the video, that's very fine. God bless you for that. If not to get counseling before you enter into marriage, it's very important, whether from your pastor or from an elderly person or from your parents, or if your parents are not together and they are separated get someone or two couples who have been married for so many years so you do not face surprises when you enter into marriage and if there's any red flags do not ignore them in the relationship let the person go yes your heart will be broken but it's, it's better to get a broken heart than to wait until you get married and you get broken hearts that one is no good so be mindful be vigilant yes and pray prayer is a key apart from communicating and all that and all that prayer is a key if you've not watched our video when we celebrated our one year uh anniversary things that we learned from our one year marriage go and watch that video i'm gonna pop it up here so you guys can watch it yes it's very important and read marriage books if you don't know, know of any and you want an advice on them or you want us to you know help you with some books i have a video also on that it's up here i'm gonna link it up here for you to watch it or you can dm me on instagram as aquile babs or the ac base or send us an email at aquile dot babs tv uk at gmail.com everything is in the description box go check it out it's very important leave your comments and let's you know grow together share this video with your family and friends subscribe if you're new on this channel if you've watched this far 
and for returning subscribers thank you so much ciao until next time in our next video bye